Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Oshman React. So it's time for the next episode of a Rab Scene Nesbit. I've finally got an episode of Rab Scene Nesbit that's available on YouTube in decent quality. Yep, 1080p. That's never happened before with Rab Scene Nesbit on YouTube. Never before. Finally. Hmm. So let's just get into this. Yep. Um, anything else I need to say? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> No, let's just get into it. This is episode 5 of series 5, Racket. Let's go. Please like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Christmas giveaway coming up. Cash prize. Let's go. It's the Uncle Bob show, and Uncle Bob, you can tell your uncle anything. Hey. In the name, Low battery. Please recharge your headset. Please go away. What noise? horrible Oh, if we no, no, it's not a daily, it's not a daily, above, it's above the daily. Above the daily? Oh, oh, the boys was on house music. Is she eating one of them, um, biscuits? Uh, it's got like a smiley face on it. You can get them with jam in the middle or chocolate, right? What are they called? Oh, I've forgotten the name of them. That's because you... House music! Oh, my House music! House music! House music! House music! There will be no house music in this house! There will be no house music in this house! How many times? Rap it! Rap it! Hear me! Are you? Yeah, and you're just watching it, you're not hearing it. <laughs> what, uh, you know, what our parents thought we were doing when we were listening to music, what we were really doing, just sat there with his headphones on. I think my inner ears try to make a break, but it's in my nose bone actually. <laughs> <laughs> Noise is brilliant, isn't it? What? I what? Noise is brilliant. Oh. And you say this noise from next door is affecting your wife's nerves, Mr. McBride? Well, see for yourself, Mr. Lister. She's not wearing that thing as a body warmer. Quite. I mean, what the heck? Fair enough, she wants to eat a pair of slippers. Well, what the hell, she's from Paisley, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the next thing you know, we move next door to the Wild Bunch and suddenly she's in a straitjacket, wearing pampers. <laughs> well, it's not good enough, and I want something done. Well, look, it seems to have stopped now. Do you know, I think perhaps I've just been a wee bit... <laughs> Sorry about the music. I've turned it down. Cheerio! <laughs> Hey, do go on. I'll send a He looks familiar. Where have I seen him before? I'll report to the housing authority. <laughs> this is a very serious matter, Mr. Nesbitt. Very serious indeed. Oh, well, what can I... What can I thought that, didn't I? I mean, you're the... You're the third beat we've seen in a suit this week. We're gonna figure that out, you bum me <laughs> We gotta figure that out, you bum that ya! Point taken, Mary, point taken. Sorry, Bob, sorry, carry on. <laughs> sorry, Bob, oh, sorry! Mr. Nesbitt, is that I'm in receipt of a complaint against you, which, if upheld, could mean eviction for you and your family. Is that the fellow that plays Victor's son? It's still game. John. Eviction? Have we been in that house for 17 eviction. years? Exactly. I mean, no, no, this is part of your family. It's like, it's like party. It's like party, us, you know. It's like, it's like a third armpit. 
There's no need to be so graphic, Mr. Nesbitt. No, there isn't. I'm giving you a break, pal. I was going to say second ass hole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, Mr. Nesbitt, it's not the first time you've had a black mark against you. Uh, there was that long standing matter of the uh, non payment of rent. Oh. Rent? I mean, you got a dictionary. I wouldn't rise to your bait, Mr. Nesbitt. We'll simply stick to the facts, shall we? And the fact is that a neighbour of yours has had her quality of life made a misery and is undergoing medical and psychiatric treatment because of the intolerable behaviour of you and your family. No, that you're prejudging my case, nor nothing. Aye, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, don't you hold back, will you? Noise pollution is a curse. Council tenants must be protected. So that woman in the straight jacket, that's because of these. That's because of the kids. Wow. Aye, will you? Noise pollution is a curse. Council tenants must be protected. Now, if I receive another complaint against you, Mr Nesbitt, or you, Mrs Nesbitt, then you know what to expect. Don't tell us. It. Ah. It. Aye. Out. 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 Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Nee sound in the bloody daily. I'll tell you. It's gone by. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what. Anybody who's got an annoying neighbour who so much as, you know. If you play your television anything over ten decibels, and they can, this is what they want us to do. <laughs> Just wish me late. You know what they're like next door. You know we don't worry about it. There's a phone coming on in a minute. We shout out, play, shout out. Oh God! No need for sound. <laughs> but this is a talk show. It's a tranny with a split personality pulling his heart out. I've got an ambition to get on one of these. Wow. I'll just wait until we cultivate an interest in perversion. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you the crunch, crunch, a crunch. Did you crunch? You filthy swing at ya. You trying to get us flung out of shush? But it's a crisp, isn't it? I mean, it makes crispy noises. What do you want me to It makes crispy noises. <laughs> Suck it! Don't you mark the boys right is right. When it gets to the point that we're sitting, Chris, to keep the noise down, and we've got to take some action, you, you yeah, get your ass next door and speak to their neighbours. That's when you know things have gone too far with your neighbours complaining about noise, when you're having to suck crisps. <laughs> oh, man. You, you better get your ass next door and speak to their neighbours. Oh, Mary. <laughs> oh, Mary, Mary. If you don't, then it's me that's going to end up in the asylum. Never mind her. Why am I going to shake them? Just reason with them. Aye, you're good at that. What Shut the it, fuck is that in his hair? Uh... Hurry, hurry, hurry. He looks alright. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Go next door. I lie. Boring. Open up your box! Open up the box! Stick a knife on you! And I'll be saying a noisy joke while I'm doing it! Open up your box! Oh, God! Oh! Is this the man who's been threatening you and your wife, Mr. McBride? Oh, that's him, all right. Mad Bam. God! Mad Bam! I'd do that if I were you. You're in enough soapy bubble as it is. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Rab C. Nesbitt. Hi. Come in. Eh, uh, no, you're, you're all right. You're all right, you're all right. Come in. Ah! Wait, sorry, I'm not stuck in on you. What's going on? Deed? What do you mean, Deed? I mean, I mean, pegged, stuffed out. <laughs> what if you were to sniff bicycle saddles? <laughs> Would we get on a chat show then? Nah, it's too tame. I mean, Honestly, I can't stand him. I just want to punch his face. The repeatedly. Mrs. Woman next door has until he looks like somebody else. Snuffed it. And we are going to get the blame. That's a hell of a slut to put in any family, Rab. Here, we could be in a lot of trouble if that ever gets out. No worry. Don't worry, man. It will not get out. Eh, uh, hello. Uh, is this a researcher for the Uncle Bob show? Good. Yeah. We're all mental. Gonna put us on the telly. <laughs> We're a problem family. I, I know you've done problem families before. 
that's the that's the recruitment process for anyone who appears on a channel for a reality show nowadays. Aye, I'm mental. Gonny put his on the telly. <laughs> Good. Yeah. We're all mental. We're Gonny all mental. Gonny put us on the telly. We're a problem family. I, I know you've done problem families before, but you see, there's a spin. <laughs> I'm serious, have you seen like reality TV these days on Channel 4? I mean, naked education. Who saw that? Where they had like fucking people, adults just standing there with no clothes on in front of children. What the fuck? Yeah. My <laughs> dad's killed the next door neighbour. <laughs> I'll put him on. Hey, Dad! You forget oh, tell him that. that. We have got friends. Oh, our governor. They'll not turn against us. And then, oh my God. What did you say? We Die. have turned against you. Die, murdering bastards. Regards, your friends. Your friends. Die on the pulse as usual, Edda. Shut it, you. This is a family crisis here. Ho, oh, Pa Walton. You gonna take this phone? There's a block here wants to put you in a chat show. Why would I want to demean myself by going in one of these nasty exploitative articles? Well, let me pluck a reason out the stratosphere. How's about to clear the family name? Rab? Well? Yeah, but this is Rab. <laughs> How much is that again, Nori? On the house, Pat. Oh, thanks very much, son. Aye, uh, people can be very kind. He looks familiar. Oh, it's a terrible thing, I lost your spouse, Noreen. Does that? Ella's got pleurisy. <laughs> Any chance you're off pipe? <laughs> All hard as ever, Jane Jett. Ah, don't give me that. I signed you I hate that brick, didn't I? Even though I'm his best mate. <laughs> hey! I'm gonna keep the yap down. We're trying to wind up Willie the Gobshite. Who's Willie the Gobshite? He's the new shock jock in Skid FM. It's his first night, he's a bit nervous. Shh. Oh, Willie, are you still there? Indeed I am, indeed I am still here. Yes, yes, you, you, you're boring get. Uh, oh, <laughs> boring get? Is that it, Willie? Is that your best shot? Because it's not very shocking. <laughs> Aye, we're shocked at how unshocking you are, Willie. <laughs> I can shock better than that, and I don't even shock. Call yourself a gobshite. Ah, well, a matter of fact, uh, 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 come on, give me a break, lads. It's my first night. Come on. Oh. Well, I, you, maybe I can help. I used to be a shock jock. Oh, really? What station were you on then? Uh, Radio 3. Maybe you remember me. And now, Sir John Barbaroli <laughs> conducts Mallers. Fifth effing somebody <laughs> buggering well me, Jack. Right, that's it, right, that's what? definitely it. Didn't get that. Didn't hear it. Look Couldn't at yourselves. It. What are you like? <laughs> it's big veins, we know, we know. <laughs> it's novel denori. <laughs> Scum on the media. It's not often we get a chance to hear our own voices. It'd frighten you if you actually listen to yourselves. Oh, yeah. chilling perfection, Sigmund. <laughs> I don't know what it is with the media these days. Suddenly everybody's an emotional stripogram. I'll say that for Nes, but he <coughs> might be a murdering bastard, but at least he keeps himself to himself. Tomorrow, ah! we'll have a Bob Show. <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> described by the neighbours as murdering bastards, <laughs> open their hearts and tell all. Okay, Carter. Where's the donkey's ears? I'll put them on now. Can't be asked. But the great thing about human nature, ladies and gentlemen, as we've heard here today, is its rich diversity. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Rob, we're nearly at the end of the programme. They've not spoke to us once. Oh, wish me. Well, come here for a minute. We'll get a chance to build our cake, right? <laughs> and finally. Oh, oh, here we go. I'd like to ask our guests one last question. If you had the chance to be normal, would you change what you are today? Emily. 
No, Bob, I wouldn't. Because the way I see it, the good Lord made me <laughs> what I am. Where's women's clothes and fondles donkeys? <laughs> Did, oh, wait, no, I can't say that on YouTube. I was going to say, these days, they still wear women's clothes, but they're not fondling donkeys anymore. Other things. Y yeah. <laughs> Something something story hour. <laughs> and who am I to go against his will? Ah, oh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Brian? No. It's taken me years to come to terms with the way I am. And I feel I would be betraying but other charismatically challenged men in dresses if I were to throw away all the advances we have made. You heard it, you heard it! And Tony, happy with what you are? Absolutely. For many years, I was an angry, introverted Murder individual. Murder six people are now singing as available for Panda! with myself. The man said it! The man oh. said it! And if I could just say, Bob, this is my Yes, daughter. thank you, Tony. Thank you. That was lovely. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> and on that note... Hey, it's oh, I never mean that night. No, yeah, come here, come here. See, that's it, see. Hey, me, right? It's a wait, but it's, but it's my family, right? See, that's, that's just a whole thing bang us, and we have been sitting here the full length of your programme, waiting to go to a Tom here, you know? Yes, well, with respect, ah, Mr Nesbitt... He's always do that. He's always getting more guess on than you need. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, I gave up on that. Can Cole be here? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, aye, aye. It's Jairo Day. He's normally in bed shagging a large melon. No. Shut up, Jairo Surprise! I gave up my napkin call to be here, right? That was funny enough. Me? <laughs> I it's gyro day. He's usually in bed shagging a large male and <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yes, it's fine enough geeks to, to, to come on that show. There you are. Geeks, you are super animated oh. cracker, you are. <laughs> You dig a joint, you squeeze it, you squeeze it dry, and then you, then you bugger off, you bugger off, back to your, back to your riverside development. Hey, and you're a wee, you're a wee, let me tell you, I'll tell you where, I'll tell you where, well, what started it out in that bloody seat, and the dazzle, waiting, waiting for the bus, back here for the sun. <laughs> I've seen this bit. Voice of the people. I'll tell you, boy. We're, we're, we're not going to take this in here. No. We're, we're as mad as hell. We're not going to stand for it. We're not going Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. As you could see, we could go on talking all day, but we've run out of time. <laughs> so this is Bob Normal saying, see you next time. <laughs> now, you tell... I, Did you enjoy that? Yeah, well, she were a man as well. Oh, we didn't know. For a minute there. Did not enjoy her, but we didn't get a chance to clear our family name. Oh, that's a pity. <laughs> Still there's a... With his docker. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Family name. Oh, that's a pity. Still there's a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! In the green room. In the green room. made a comment saying there's a surprise coming up in Ravsy Nesbitt. I didn't think it meant this soon. How you doing Ford my boy? Fancy seeing you here in the 90s. In the green room. <laughs> hey, hey, what is that it? Well, Better not be. If we can't get justice, one thing we can get a steamer. Am I like it? <laughs> ha, yeah. Exactly, mate. I mean, it's a, it's a trade-off, isn't it? You know, I mean, they, they get you a self-respect, but we, how do we get that drink, you know? <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's, that's fair, isn't it? What did you, you, you say yourself, pal? Hey, doll, pal. Hey, doll, pal. Oh, it, Rab. It's better than a real job. I mean, before I bought these slingbacks and changed my name to Emily, I was just wee Andy Minto driving a breed van. Is that, um... Harry, eyes as arsehole. <laughs> I meant, I didn't mean to do <laughs> I meant to be insulting eyes as husband, who's an arsehole. That's Harry, isn't it? Man, but you grow yourself a pair of tits and the world becomes your oyster. <laughs> what about yourself, missus? Were you a man? <laughs> It's just that the telly can't wait for us geeks to get us out of the closet as quickly as possible. Mm, yeah. Somebody's never heard of AMAC. These days, it's the golden age of human deviancy. In fact, I'm having to acquire more hang-ups just to keep pace with demand. Demand? Wait, you mean you deal with these things? Oh, aye. Perversion's the new rock and roll. You should have a word with my agent, Rob. Ah, Mr. Nesbitt. Caught the whole lot. Thought it was absolutely fabulous. Enjoyed your act. Aye. We're, we're, we're a problem family. Aye, whatever. Listen, if you considered that uh, representation, I really could get you a good few gigs. Okay? No, no, we don't want like to turn professional. Look, we don't want the intrusive eye of the camera warping our sense of family values. Ah, Mr. Nesbitt, could you sign this, please? Sign? How? Why is it? It's a contract for your appearance fee, five hundred pounds. When do we start? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Ford. <laughs> what the hell? Mm 
Mary, <laughs> that's not a waterbed. Get up. Come, come, come. We must have gone the wrong bus home. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the other bus takes you to the fucking Amazon, doesn't it? We're in the jungle! We're in the jungle! Jungle. Wait, 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 They were on a TV show. Uh, have they got really pissed and then just wandered into like a different set? Is this a, like a set for a TV show that's based in a jungle or a film? That's what I'm gonna go with. So that refreshment party at the BBC. What? And go on a bus for Ecuador. <laughs> Ecuador? Look at that. How much of it some pressure is this? Scrape the shit off your senses at times. There's no that drink rabbit, no. It's beating us somebody. Makes you see the world through different eyes. Uh, the evergreen, moist, shimmering, multicolored world of success, eh? I'll tell you, do you and me, do you and me, Mary, though? Eh? We could, we could maybe just go out away. But you, you see, we worked hard, we really, really worked hard at these personality disorders. We could, we could maybe even get our own chat, eh? Eh? A scumball equivalent. I'm Richard and Ginny. Huh? <laughs> Do you really think so? Uh, it's a wonderful world, baby. Really. <clears throat> Do you know it's illegal to sleep in the Botanic Gardens? <laughs> botanic oh, Gardens! Perhaps see Nesbitt. Ah. I'm arresting you in connection with the death of Mrs. Ina McBride of 5 Restitution Street. That's right, you bam. Have you anything to say for yourself? I have only one thing. Get it over myself. Come on in, you bricks that you are. The war's won. <laughs> Is that no kind of excessive for having a noisy record player? No, be fair. Maybe he was well. playing Daniel O'Donnell records. <laughs> Might I remind you that my wife lies dead in her grave thanks to him? Hey, sorry, no offence. Forgot you were a tragic bastard, no? <laughs> I should think so too. <laughs> you couldn't put a wee half pint in there, could you, Nori? Ah, yeah. Right. All I'm saying is, I feel a bit guilty about popping that brick through his window. I never thought it would go this far. Ach, relax. Procurator Fiscal only says there's a case to answer. Probably all come to nothing. I wouldn't even bank on it. Hey, Nori, why don't you turn that telly up? A Glasgow man will stand trial accused of annoying his neighbour to death. Mr Rapsi Nesbitt from Gavin is said to have made his neighbour's life such a misery that she died. If found guilty of aggravated assault, he could go to prison for 15 years. Fifteen years? Exactly. It's no bloody fair, is it? That's the umpteenth time he's been on the telly. Lucky bastard. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Mr Nesbitt, you've gained something of a celebrity status lately, have you not? Objection, Your Honour. It's a leading question. Overruled. It's a fair question, Mr Gillis. No need to be touchy. You may answer, Mr Nesbitt. All right, I went, I went in a chat show, but I mean, I only did it to clear my family name. Oh. The Uncle Bob show. That is correct. Followed by family therapy. OK, uh, I've got family, right? Some bloke offered to therapy them. I mean, what's the matter? <laughs> therapy <laughs> them? If it increases the span of human knowledge. Followed by Lucky Ladders and Noel's House Party. <laughs> OK, I'm a big... Maybe got a wee bit carried away with a fame game sort of style, you know. A bit carried away? You've received fees from every show you've appeared on. 
All in all, you've made quite a killing out of the death of Mrs. McBride. Have you not, Mr. Nesbitt? Objection! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Tell you how you do your job, no man, but, well, <clears throat> it's not looking good for me, is it? I'm telling you, Ella. I rue the day that me and Rab became the Liz Hurley and Hugh Grant of government. <laughs> I don't know there's the money. I mean, he said, are really bad affecting us financially. What? Are you paying super tax? No, no, full <laughs> rent. <laughs> I don't know, Ella. There's Rab fighting for his life full and rent. me with an F like banjo strings. All because of that old bastard next door. Come on, I'll watch some telly, Mary. I'll help take your mind off things. The trial of the Glasgow man accused of <laughs> annoying his neighbour to death continues. <laughs> Mr. Rapsy Nesbitt Switch. took to the wit. Oh, no. Look, it started again, Ellie. Started again. I can't take much more of this. I thought he was dead. What? Oh, Mary, that's not coming from next door. That's come for your bedroom. What the fuck? <laughs> How's that for level? It's OK. Uh, listen. You never liked me playing Fuck my violin, you did you, Aina? That's what drove you off your heat, isn't it? That and my habit of sucking up the yolk of my fried egg in the mornings through a straw. <laughs> well, after the last laugh now. I did you in, didn't I, Aina? <laughs> I lulled you into a stupor. I thought he looked like a bastard. And you watch the director's cut of Dances with Wolves and then <laughs> smothered you with a cushion. Flames <laughs> your death on these bellowing cattle for next door. Far out, man. That guy is a grade A completely mental creamer, bampo, and psychopath. Exactly. But he'll make great radio. Yep. Well, hopefully that'll get Rab off, but what a bastard. Queer atmosphere in the place tonight, Dodie, don't you think? I never think, Andrew. <laughs> You're quite right about the atmosphere. <laughs> All right, boys. Do you know you've got that in your head, James? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wacky lads, eh? Always joshing. No, I've... I've got a bit of a heat call, you know, I don't like him on, though. You should better be jen up about this. I'll be in shit street with a filth if as he's a wind up. Oh, he's a prick. We're trying to clear our dad's name. Yeah, That's why we ticked right. off the filth. Well and the press. Shut up! <laughs> oh. And now from me, Willie the Gobshite, startling evidence of a possible miscarriage of justice. Yes, now do not! Listen to this. That's Ford. <sighs> Nori, son, <coughs> I've had a hell of a night, my grief. Do you think you could put a wee refresher in there? I did you in, didn't I, Aina? <laughs> I lulled you into a stupor by making you watch the director's cut of Dances with Wolves and then smothered you with a cushion. <laughs> Flames your death on these bellowing cattle for next door. Uh, no, on second thoughts, maybe I'll just toddle along to my bed. Really? You're toddling nowhere, pal. <laughs> You're not going home to your own bed anyway, let's put it that way. You're on your way to the Bumhole Buffet! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you! Thanks very much for your help in keeping this operation as discreet as possible. Patrick, you hoodie McBride. I wish to question you in connection with the death of your wife, Aina. Mm. Anything you want to say? You stupid ears. For God's sake, say something! And your infinitely punchable face. We've got deadlines to meet. We are available for interviewing the above number. That's 0141 if you're outside the class. You don't get me to know that. <laughs> Lovely to have you here again, Rab. It's good to be here, Marianne. You know something, Rab? We've been really stupid. Celebrities know for the likes of us. 
No, we really? just chummed them. We just chummed them ordinary people, Mary. And the sooner we get used to that, yeah. the better, you know? Harris? <laughs> Where are your neighbours? Sorry about the noise. Aye. We were just boiling some heads. The stove blew up. <laughs> It's nice to get back in normal again, Mary. Eh? Cheers, lad. That's normal. <laughs> she nearly shit a brick. <laughs> Is that him? William Leslie? I don't think it is. No. Um. Oh fuck, I'll just grab C, there's a bit. Racket. I'll find the bastard. Fuck off! Gavin Mitchell was in this. Where? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll find out who it is later myself, unless one of you know. Yeah, so that was uh, the end of an episode of Rad Cena's bit. That was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you can't you can't get rid of Rab. You'll never get rid of him. He's too good. Um, but yeah, that old bastard with the glasses and the silly ears. What an arsehole. Actually tried to set Rab up for the death of his wife when he did her in himself. With his violin and his... Yeah, just... Wow. <laughs> you know the audacity <laughs> so I don't know what to say really it was one of them episodes that's in the middle it wasn't the best it wasn't the worst it was just alright so yeah I'm not disappointed I'm not pleased. I'm just, okay, I just watched an episode of Rapsina's bit. What's next? Sort of thing, you know? I only wish that we'd have done this uh, a bit earlier, because I could have done the next Mind Your Language or something to make up for it, I don't know. Maybe I will, actually. Anyway, um, I'll get this uploaded. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you did enjoy this reaction, like, subscribe. And uh, if you know who that guy is, please comment. 
Also, could somebody leave a timestamp to where in the episode, well, well, where in this video, Gavin Mitchell turned up? Because I, I honestly can't remember what, rem, remember seeing him. Where was it? So, yeah, leave a timestamp for that and uh, tell me who the guy with the glasses was. I recognised him. He reminded me of the guard, he, not the guard, the, he reminded me of the governor out of the Shawshank Redemption a little bit. It looked a bit like him, but I know it's not him, obviously not. Uh, but yeah, who is he? I'm, I'm going to Google it, I'll probably find out, but, you know, it's good to hear from you guys. So thanks for watching, like the video, like, uh, um, subscribe, and uh, also important for you to go and follow the Facebook page, that's very important. And, you know, if you don't want to join the Patreon financially, you can follow that too. So please do that, follow the Patreon. Um, I've also got TikTok. That could you go follow that if you don't mind? If you're on TikTok, if not, then never mind. And also, I've got a Twitch channel that I do gaming streams. Um, did one last night. Oh, by the way, the next episode of the Rangers Rebuild series filmed that last night. We played. Uh, was it three games? We won two and drew one. League games, yeah. So the next episode of that's coming up probably tonight. Actually, I'll try and get it up tonight. Okay. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.